Hello everybody, um, it's been a while since my last video, and uh, this isn't going to be like my other videos either. I have some stuff coming up, some cool things to show, I got a new um, Compact 286 Portable, which is pretty cool, got a really good deal on it. But this video is, I guess, uh, a tribute or something like that to my best friend, basically, <laughs> uh, Klaus. He was my dog. He died uh, a few days ago. And I just wanted to leave something to remember him by. Um, I wrote a letter to him when I was at work the other night because I wasn't coping very well. And what I think I will do is read this letter and uh, show some of the some of the great pics of this beautiful, wonderful little dog. And. Um, yeah, um, I don't know why I'm making this video, I guess, uh, or sharing it. I think maybe somehow it might make me feel better. I don't know. Um, anyway, I will read the letter to you. It's nothing profound, but it did make me feel better. And maybe if one of you loses a pet or know what it's like, um, they can be really just just part of your family. Like I said, he was my best friend ever since he was a baby. I had him. He went everywhere with me. Um, it's just it's going to be very hard moving moving forward without him. So without uh, I guess further ado, I will um, read my letter to him and. And, and show more videos of this amazing, amazing little guy. Dear Klaus, my special little boy, God had seen fit to take away from me earlier than I anticipated, and my heart is shattered. I know that you knew how much I loved you. From the moment I got you, you were my best little buddy. On the drive back from picking you up, as you were sitting in my girlfriend's lap in the passenger seat, you just kept looking at me. I don't think you looked away from me the whole two-hour drive. I think we both knew that our friendship would be eternal. You were such a little guy, only eight weeks old, and you could do so little except bite the blankets. But being the good boy that you are, I only had to put my hand over it and tell you no in a kind voice, and you soon broke that habit. I remember teaching you to go up and down the stairs. You were so scared at first, but after taking your paws and putting them on the next step and moving your little butt down to join them, you soon got the hang of it. I think it only took us 15 minutes before your natural bravery kicked in, and once you knew what to do, you were up and down those stairs as often as you liked. I even had to teach you to jump. I never forget the first time you made it onto the couch. We were playing our scared human game and you were chasing me. I jumped on the couch fully expecting that to be that to be the end of your chase. But to my surprise, you bolted onto the couch and nibbled on my hand. I was so surprised and so proud of you. You always amazed me. You were so playful at a young age. You forever wanted to play fetch. You loved swinging around those knotted t-shirts I gave you, but you never got into anything that wasn't given to you first. You never destroyed socks or clothes or anything that wasn't specifically given to you. And you loved people, and people loved you. You were so sweet. 
You didn't jump on people, but you always ran up to them to greet them. Just a happy little boy wanting to say hello to all the people he met. <clears throat> As you got older, you played a little less and rebuffed other dogs. You preferred to be the only dog in the cuddle lap. If another dog came, you'd leave. You wanted your space. I get it. Truth be told, I would have rather had you in my lap, but we must be kind to others as well. But you were stoic about it. You simply would leave and find a place to lie down. You were always stoic. I never heard you whimper, except for the time you got hit by a car. Luckily, nothing was broken or hurt except for your muscles. You whimpered occasionally then, but you were obvious, obviously in great pain. I hope the medication helped. It seemed to. But in two weeks or so, you were back to being the wonderful, happy dog you had always been. Now, after 13 years, after you being a constant companion and often my only friend, you've been beaten by sickness and it breaks my heart. I will never forget you. You brought so much joy to my life. And I hope I was able to make your life happy as well. I will always miss you. A piece of me is gone forever. I don't know if I could ever have another dog. Because you were perfection. And I just don't know if it would be fair. I would compare them to you always. And I'm sure I would find them wanting. I love all dogs. But you, my best friend ever, were special. I hope that my theory, or rather my hope, that we will meet again will come to pass. I already miss your hugs. The way you would bark without making noise. Try to talk like you were sassing. I just simply miss having you with me. There will never be another Klaus. You were like no other. My baby, my friend, my best friend, I love you, and I hope you are at peace and no longer hurting. I hope I see you again and hold you in my arms, because nothing made me feel more human than being with my loyal companion. Until we meet again, my little angel. <laughs>